Today's video, we're going to talk about how to reverse the curses of life. Now, curses are real. Many people are under a curse. Now, what is a curse? A curse is a decree. Is a decree which has been made over your life to alter your life negatively. Now, most people are saying that uh, when Jesus died on the cross, he broke the curse. Yes, that, that was the curse of the law. That was the general curse which Jesus broke. But today, people are under witchcraft attacks. When somebody goes to a witch doctor or when somebody attacks you spiritually, what they do is they, they make a curse. They curse you. And once that curse has been released, it comes and influences your life negatively. Most of you have been in generational curses. You have been in curses which, you know, as a result of people who have gone against you, as a result of many situations. And today I'm going to teach you how are we going to reverse this curse. It's very important because most people are suffering because of certain curses. Now you'll go to a church and they'll hype you up. They'll encourage you, oh, there's no curse. You know, Jesus has died. There's no curse. But when you check your life, your life is miserable. Nothing is moving. Nothing is changing. You're repeating cycles, pain and defeat at the end of the day. Now, if you see things are not working in your life, just know there can't be a curse over your life. Understand? And for me, I came to realize there was a curse over my life. I was born again, speaking in tongues, ministering the things of God, committed. I, was, I used to do everything which the Bible tells us to do, but I was still at a curse. And I believe Jesus had delivered me, but still there was something upon me which was holding my destiny down. If you realize there's something which is holding your destiny down, that is a curse. That is a decree which has been made upon your life, which is dragging you down. And that decree has to be broken. Today, I'm going to show you how to reverse this curse. It's a very interesting video. I'm going to share with you the story of Esther and the story of Jesus Christ. And you'll see how curses are being reversed. Curses, some, most, some curses. Okay, let me just say curses don't just go by prayer. Prayer is important. If curses would go by prayer, most people in the church would have been free from curses. Because curses don't go only by prayer. And I'm going to explain it in this video. Watch it till the end. Hello my supporters. Thank you for tuning in again. This is Cleophas Wanyama Ministries, Cleo Rhythm. An online Christian media where we travel the world to give you local and international Christian news interviews, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, and gospel music. If you want to donate and support us financially, please kindly use the information on the screen. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share to make a global impact. Let's dive into today's powerful message. Alright, how to reverse curses. Curses can make your life miserable. Curses can hold down your destiny. Curses can frustrate your life. Most of you are under frustration because there was a curse which was placed upon you. How are curses made? Curses, curses are made just by decrees. Somebody can go to an altar, slaughter something, make a sacrifice and release a curse upon your life. You had an argument with somebody, somebody is envious of you, somebody is jealous of you. They go, they do something spiritual and they release a curse upon you. And you find that uh, there is an energy which is following you, which is following you. You are repeating cycles, you are facing rejection, things are not working. That is a curse. Understand? Anything negative, if you, anything negative which you find persistent in your life, that's a curse which needs to be broken. Needs to be broken. Now, I want to state something. To reversing a curse, you must know it is important to know how casts are being made for you to be able to reverse it. Even people in this uh, in the science field, they have if there's something, maybe a disease has come up. Scientists usually take time to study the disease. When COVID came, uh, scientists had to take time to study the disease so that to know how to deal with with it. Understand? Now, when how a curse is made determines how you'll be freed from that curse. How a curse is made determines how you'll be freed from that curse. Understand? So if somebody did some, that's why I usually, this goes back to the four elements I usually teach. Water, fire, wind, and earth. These are the four elements which control everything. God, God uses these four elements. Which has used these four elements. These four elements, these are the, the key transmitters of either blessings or curses. Why? Because when God 
cast Abraham, uh, Adam in the garden. God said, cast shall be the ground. The ground was cast by God. That's why Adam began to struggle because the ground was cast. God cast the ground. You see why? Because ground is one of the four elements, soil. Now this is why when I teach you in my channel, I tell you when you are praying, use soil. When I do spiritual bath, take collect sand from the ground. It is important because sand is one of the powerful elements. Now if somebody placed a cast on you using sand, when if you pray, prayer alone will not break that cast. This is why you find you, you are going from deliverance to deliverance. Because somebody cast the ground, somebody took sand and cast it, put your name there and cast the ground and commanded the ground not to cooperate with you. And commanded the ground to reject you. But now for you, you think that prayer and fasting and crying out to God will, will deliver you. No, prayer and fasting is good. But if somebody casts you using the ground, you need to also to deal with the ground for that cast to be reversed. Otherwise, that cast will never be reversed. No matter how much you call the name of Jesus. Because wisdom is a principal thing. Get wisdom and all thy getting, get understanding. That's what the Bible says. If somebody casts you, by sacrificing they slaughtered the animal and they cast blood dripped down there is no amount of offering that will deliver you let nobody deceive you if somebody poured blood on the ground to cast you you need to take the blood of jesus the blood of sprinkling which speaks better things than the blood of abel pour it to the ground and i taught you how to make the blood of sprinkling it's very very important to understand if somebody uses the wind the atmosphere to cast you you will also need to when you are bringing about your freedom, you need to engage the atmosphere to reverse the curse. If somebody used the water spirits to curse you, you need to command the marine kingdom. You need to curse, subdue the marine kingdom so that you can reverse that curse. If somebody cast you and program it to the sun and the moon and the stars, the Bible, the, the sun is see, the sun will not smite you by day. Most witchcraft is powered by the sun and the moon. Most witchcraft, I repeat, is powered by the sun and the moon. That's why in all my teachings, in all my deliverance sessions, I usually tell you, when you are praying, command the sun in your favor. Command the sun and the moon and the stars to align in your favor. Break all the witchcraft program against your life in the sun and the moon and the stars. So now, when somebody bewitched you, put that curse in the, star, in the sun. Why? Because God commanded the sun to rule the day the moon to rule the night and to mark seasons genesis chapter 1 verse 14 to 19 the sun and the moon and the, and the stars are the gates of time whoever controls time controls everything there is nothing that happens on the earth until first it is written in the stars i told you this thing the birth of jesus was written in the stars two years before he was born that's why the wise men saw and they say who is he born the king of the jews we have seen this star in the east. We have come to worship him. If the birth of Jesus himself, the creator of the universe, was written in the stars, what, what other things are written there? Understand? So, witches know these things. So, when they cast you, they, 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 they command the sun to enforce that curse. They command the moon to enforce that curse. Your prayer, you will pray, you will fast, you will go deliverance from one church to another until that deliverance until you engage the sun and the moon to reverse that curse, you are delivered. You are, that curse can never be broken. I'm telling you, I'm giving you keys why you are struggling. I'm giving you keys why your prayers are not working. I'm giving you keys why you have gone to all the big men of God and nothing works. Je listen, general prayer cannot deliver. You need to know what happened to you and to break that curse. Now, let us go to scripture now. Let us go to scripture I need to to back up what I've said with the scripture. Now, I'll give an example. Jesus, Adam in the garden, what happened? Adam ate of the fruit, was told not to eat of the fruit. Adam ate of the fruit. And what did he do? He found himself naked. Adam found himself naked beside the tree from which he ate the fruit. So Adam took a, a fruit from a tree because, you know, sometimes the people think that this story is about sex. No, it wasn't sex. There was no hidden uh, uh, story. No, this was a tree because there are two trees. The tree of knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life. So it wasn't a parable. It was a true story. It was a tree. So let nobody deceive you with so many stories. It was a real tree. Because there are two trees. Now, if you say the, the tree of knowledge of, of good and evil it was sex, what about the other tree? 
what 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 was about the other tree because after they ate from this tree god sent an angel to stop them from eating from the tree of of life so it, these were trees and the tree was guarded by chari uh, by cherubims now adam ate of the fruit from the tree he found himself naked he found himself naked and the curses came curse shall be the ground blah 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 now for that curse to be reversed and to know and to explain something why did god with all his power just say uh, i i reverse it jesus i i reverse it i i change this in right now because god has power is the creator of the universe he would have just reversed that curse instantly and forgive adam and things to continue as they used to be mm -mm. they had to wait for years and years for even thousands of years for jesus to come to reverse it for jesus to come to reverse it understand that shows you god does not break his principles god operates using principle that's why even demons and witchcraft operates principle because they know principles were laid down by god and god himself don't doesn't break those principles because if god say the sun shall rule the day that's a principle which god has put and it will not be broken so witchcraft they know that the sun shall rule the day so they command the sun as it rules the day it enforces wickedness upon your life because it's a principle which has been laid by god but now which is take advantage of those principle to bring about evil but for you if you don't know what that principle means you'll be end up being smitten every day by the devil that's why it's good to have knowledge now what happened adam ate of the fruit found himself naked what happened to jesus jesus before he went to the cross he gave his disciples communion communion is like the tree of life which they were stopped from eating he gave them communion something to eat adam ate himself out of the garden and also for us we eat ourselves into the new life of god that's why i usually insist about taking the holy communion understand now what happened jesus was crucified naked on a tree the same way adam ate and found himself naked beside the tree for that curse to be reversed jesus had to be crucified on a tree there is no way jesus could be crucified uh, where uh, to be beheaded there's no way he could be beheaded there's no way they could you know that there, there were different ways of of um, offering death penalty during those days but he had to die on a tree because he's on a tree when man fell and on the same tree man was delivered you see the same way the curse was was placed is the same way the curse has to be has to be broken Adam found himself naked Jesus was crucified naked on the cross with the shame That's how it works you see even God himself it is look at the study the scriptures with understanding you'll see the order of how things happen Adam fell on the tree Jesus also died on the tree the, the, the Bible say cast is he that hung it on the tree cast is he that so for that cast to be dealt with he had to hang on the tree this the same place where that cast came is the same place that cast went now the essence of jesus dying is to was to bring about reconciliation between god and man now it was about it was bringing reconciliation between god and man but now let me tell you something that cast was not automatically removed that's why you find you can be born again and still be sick but you are told just but we are told by the stripes we are healed you can be born again and still be poor you can be born again and still be attacked by demons even though jesus reversed it i want to explain that it wasn't just reversal automatically when jesus reversed it what it means give jesus gave you the power to stand on the authority jesus was giving you authority now to bring back your own domain to bring back your own healing to bring back your own freedom that's why he died on the cross to give you a platform to give you a platform to reverse whatever evil has been has been done to you so that's why i tell you if somebody used the ground to cast you you have to use the ground speak to the ground to reverse the curse which was put upon you because there are four elements which are used to curse or to bless anybody water wind fire and earth nobody can use anything this for even god during creation there were these four elements which were used in creation four 
Man was created from the ground. Let there be light, fire. Spirit of the Lord moved upon the waters. So, anytime you want to reverse the curse which has been placed upon you, engage these four elements. That's why in my teaching, I teach about spiritual birth. Spiritual birth, in, it deals with water. I, I, I tell you, take water, put, sh uh, put sand, water, that's water, and and um, and ground. I usually tell you, command the sun, the moon, and the stars. Because the sun, the moon, and the stars, they represent the fire elements. There is nothing which is hotter in this universe than the sun. The sun is the most hottest thing which we know. So anytime you are dealing with the fire element, you need to command the sun, the moon, and the stars. They represent fire. Speak to the atmosphere. Speak to the at atmosphere. Speak to the wind. You understand? So if these four elements were used to cast you, it will need you to engage these four elements to reverse the curse. Because if Adam was cast on the tree, Jesus had to die on the tree. Naked, naked. Adam was naked, Jesus was naked on the tree. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Get these powerful three e-books by Clear First One Your Mouth. First one is called The Star, The Mystery Behind Extreme Success. This book gives you biblical in-depth knowledge about your destiny and how to restore and shine in life. Get to know what God says about stars. Second ebook is called Understanding the Mystery of Times and Seasons. Here you will get to know about the calendar of heaven and the blessings of each year of your life. Third ebook is called Thrones, the spiritual powers which controls territories. This ebook talks about altars, gates, and covenants and how they affect our lands. To get these powerful three ebooks combined, donate an amount of 20 US dollars or more to support us. The ebooks will be sent to your email address upon confirmation. Kindly use the information on the screen. Don't miss out. Now, this, the crucifixion of Jesus does not automatically take away the curse. The crucifixion of Jesus is, a, it gives you a platform now to stand, to defend yourself. That's why when, when believers think that because Jesus died, it is automatically that they're gonna be free. You are wrong. We are not gonna be free. It's not automatic. Freedom is not automatic. You will suffer. The devil will strangle you, my dear. What I'm here to tell you is that you have authority in Christ Jesus. Now, it is the authority. Now, before Jesus died, you could not use that authority because the devil had gained the, the, the lordship over the earth. You could not use that authority. Even today, the devil still controls the earth. It is true. The Bible says, uh, Second Corinthians 4.4, 4, the God of this world. Now, Jesus was good. What happened? You know, it wasn't a fair because now... The devil had more power than man. Now, Jesus had to come to neutralize so that you can have power to withstand him. So you can have more power to defeat him. But now, it is not automatic. If you are not going to engage in spiritual warfare, you will not defeat him. Understand? Another e example, the story of Esther. <laughs> the story of Esther. Now, Esther, you know the story of Esther after she became a queen. Uh, Haman had plotted to kill the Jews. Haman tricked the king to sign a, a law so that a certain day the Jews are going to be killed. Understand? A law was passed that on a certain day the Jews are going to be attacked and to be killed. Understand? Now, you know the story. Esther went in, prepared a meal and uh, requested the husband to reverse that law. But the husband said they, once the law has been, has been passed, it cannot be reversed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create another law which will make the Israelites defend themselves when that time comes, when they will be under attack. You know, you see what happens. They, will, they were given now, the king could not take, could not reverse the law. The word of the king cannot be changed. Now, the king had to make, had to make another law which will enable now the Israelites, in case they are being attacked, they can be able to rise up and defend themselves. Now, this is what Jesus did. Now, in the book of Esther, is a story is a, just a, 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 a shadow of what Jesus did. Yes, the enemy had taken your authority, but now when Jesus died on the cross, Jesus now has given you power also to fight back. When the enemy attacks you, you fight back. You don't cry. You are not helpless. You are not weak. You are not defeated. You have the power to fight back when the enemy attacks you. Now, that's how you reverse curses. You don't reverse curses by just crying. The same way that curse was put is the same way you are going to reverse it. 
Now, we are, I usually tell you, tell you to use sand, use water. Why? Because we have the authority. We are, we are doing this because authority has already been given. Jesus has died on the cross to give you authority so that when you engage in this warfare, you have his backing. You have the power. Before, you didn't have the power as much as uh, we, we, um, we thought we had. But now when Jesus died, he gave you that platform. That's why even Paul says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold, fight the good fight of faith from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of God suffereth violent and the violent take it in by force. So if you want to, to, to reverse any curse, use the four elements to reverse. Many teachings are in the, on this channel. If somebody bewitched you, if, if somebody took sand and spoke on it and cast you, you, are, you can fall as many times you fall. You will fall, you will rise, you will roll on the floor. That curse will not go anywhere. If somebody used the moon and the stars and the sun to place a curse on you, you will roll the way you want to roll. That curse is going nowhere. Until your prayer, you will begin to command the sun, the moon and the star to break every curse which was programmed there against you. And I've told this thing in many of my videos. So people say, Jesus died on the cross. It is finished. Now we can't do it. There is no curse. You are deceiving yourself. Haven't you seen people born again struggling? Haven't you seen people who are pain, poverty everywhere? Nothing works for them. I grew up, I, I usually tell I grew up in the church. I saw this thing. I saw women frustrated. People frustrated. Some even left salvation. Yes, Jesus died on the cross. But he died on the cross to give you authority to fight for yourself. That's why, why are you told that? Why are you told that you have authority? What is the essence of authority? When you have authority, that means power has been delegated to you. You use it. You use it as you see fit. You use it as you see fit. Now, that's why I tell you to do this thing. Take water, take spiritual bath. You are using the authority that has already been given to you. When you listen, I usually tell people, God will not do anything for you. Let me say this thing boldly. God does not answer prayer. I know many people are going to fight me, but let me explain. God does not answer prayer. Why? Because he has given you authority. He has given you power. Now, why do you go back to him again to ask him to do things for you? Another example, uh, a great man of God, a mate of mine who died, Kenneth E. Hagin in America. Kenneth E. Hagin said one day he was, uh, Jesus appeared in his bedroom and they were having a conversation with Jesus. And then some out of the blue, demons appeared. That's why I say demons are not, are, not, are not afraid. Demons are not afraid. Demons appeared. Listen, you're having a conversation with Jesus face to face in a vision and then demons appear. Now the demons were making noise to a point that he could not hear what Jesus was saying. And he, he wondered what's happening. At some point he got angry. He, he, he rebuked those demons. Go in the name of Jesus. And the demons disappeared. And then he asked Jesus, why didn't you remove these demons? Jesus told him, if you hadn't used the authority I had given you, I would have done nothing. Why? Because I've given you authority. I cannot do it for you. Most of you are crying to God to do things for you. Whereas God has given you the power to do it for yourself. Prayer is for intimacy. Prayer is for intimacy with God. When, when your time to pray comes, it's time for you to build your intimacy with God. Not to ask for things. Because he has given you power to make things happen. He has given you power to make things happen. Prayer is for intimacy. It's not for begging. It's, for, it's not for, oh God, do me this, do me that. God has given you the power. That's why he, give, he gave you the power. Now, you understand when I say that God does not answer prayer. God, because God has given you authority and power. Prayer is for intimacy. I pray for my intimacy with God. Fellowshipping with God. Because prayer was meant for intimacy. Not for request, request and request. The more you grow in intimacy with God, power flows easily and you will be able to command other things. So if you find yourself, you are, you are prayers, request, 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 you have a problem. Start building intimacy with God through prayer. Build intimacy. As I've told you, reversing curses. Reversing curses. The same way a curse was put, in the same way the curse has to be removed. If somebody went to a water body and cast you in the ocean, in the river, and cast you, for you to be 
to be delivered, you need to go to the river and pray. You need to go to the ocean with your prayer team and pray for that cast to be reversed. Otherwise, it will never be reversed. That's why you say, you say, you say, you say, I went to this one, I did not get there. I've come across people. I, I went to so and so, uh, I prayed for me, nothing happened. I went to so and so, pray for me, nothing happened. I do you, you have gone to all the big, big people, nothing happened. Why? Because the same way that cast was put, it will take the same way for that cast to be removed. If Adam ate of the tree, became naked, Jesus gave the communion, was crucified naked. The same way. Now Jesus has given you authority to reverse. The same way we see in the book of Esther. Esther thought that because he had favor with the king, now that issue will be gone. No, the king, the king, told, the, the king told Esther, this decree has already been made. And you cannot change it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make another decree which will make, which will empower the Israelites to be able to defend themselves, to get it also to get weapons and defend themselves when the time for their attack comes. Understand? Now, also Jesus died on the cross so that you can have weapons to defend yourself anytime the devil attacks. Because attacks will always be there. Will always be there. This is what you do to reverse Curses. The same way curses were put is the same way you're gonna reverse them. I hope you understand. Uh, you you got something from this uh, today's teaching. I'm Cleofa Swanyama. See you in the next video. Hello guys, I'm Cleofa Swanyama. Clear with you. And today I have a special announcement. Now we have a vision of building a professional studio. Now the studio will play a very major role in helping spreading the gospel of jesus christ now in the studio we'll be doing recording live recording we'll be recording music we shall have worship sessions so those of you who are at home you will be able to tune us when you're having live worship sessions those who know me for those who are following me for many years they know that i am a gospel artist On the night when he was crucified, he and God has given me many songs. I've written many songs which needs to be recorded. And we need to have a studio of, your, of our own. That studio will be an altar dedicated unto God. Because from that studio, music will be recorded. will be impacting the world locally and internationally. Apart from that, the other use of the studio will be, will be used for recording podcasts like these ones. Recordings whereby we share the word of God, where I do my vlogs, where we do interviews, shall have visitors, and it will help to push the gospel of Jesus Christ across the globe. So it is very necessary for us to have a professional recording studio now those who are willing to help information is on the screen those who are willing to help contact me using the information on the screen and we shall send you a breakdown of the things needed and you can see how you can support us in purchasing these equipments uh, uh, in one way or another so guys we are we are looking up to you for your assistance I know God is gonna make everything possible now this recording studio it is necessary because we are living in the world whereby it is influenced by media it is influenced by music and culture and so many things so if, as a church we need to have content creating content for jesus christ you know entertainment is is largely used by the devil to push agenda agendas of uh, you know same sex agendas so many agendas are out there but now when we have the gospel also when we have a platform a creative platform whereby we can create content which is bible based christian uplifting content to the world we'll be able to save our children we'll be able to save this generation which is coming because there's a lot of crap out there so guys if you want to support us use the information on the screen it's a down over new day thank you for watching <music>